Oklahoma said, you want it, you got it. To Georgia, LSU, and Michigan. All that's coming up after the bumper. Don't be cornering me. Hold up. Time. You got to help me with that, that corner sh**. <laughs> What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step, though. Consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. It's always college football related, sports related. We have a good time today. The news is Oklahoma's future schedule includes first ever visits to Norman by Georgia in 2023, Michigan in 2025, and LSU in 2027. This just dropped 230 Central Standard Time. But the reason I said you wanted you got is because this reminds me of Clubber Lang coming up to the unveiling of Rocky statue in Philly and pointing at him talking about why won't you give me a fight? Why won't you fight me? Why won't you give me a shot at the title? And then go so far as to look at Adrian and says, hey, if you want a real man, come on down to my house and I'll show you what a real man is about. Oh my God. What he say? You want it, you got it. And that's how I feel about this Georgia and Oklahoma matchup in particular. Because many of y'all remember the last time Oklahoma and Georgia played, these dudes got the W, but in overtime. And controversially, for those of us that were watching on the Sooner side, because on the Sooner side, 17 points! Lincoln, you're up 17. You know, Squib Kick. We got rules. In, we got laws in Oklahoma against Squib Kicking now. That ain't what you do. It was the best team that Oklahoma had fielded since 2008. And it was their best shot to win an eighth national championship. And three man fronts with two down linemen. My God, Mike Stoops, what were you doing? And Jake from, from State Farm, ends up getting the W in Pasadena over Oklahoma. So, like, I've wanted to see Oklahoma and Georgia play for some time. And there's lots of reasons as to why others would want to see Georgia and Oklahoma play, specifically in Norman, right? Because you got Brock Vandegriff, who was committed to Oklahoma, who decided he wanted to stay close to home, flips his commitment to Georgia. Kayla Williams comes over, takes that stop. And man, you could talk about Oklahoma and Georgia and recruiting every day of every year. Trey Sermon ends up at Oklahoma over Georgia. Ohio State ends up transferring to Ohio State. And I would also add in there, you could take a look at Jaden Hazelwood coming out of the Peach State. He ends up picking Oklahoma because it's wide receiver to you. The other two games are also wild, interesting, because Michigan is Michigan. As much as Ohio State fans and, and myself make jokes about Michigan, it is still the winningest school of all time. 964 total wins, a 72.8% winning percentage. And they're going to get to 1,000 if Jim Harbaugh can put together a couple of magic seasons and win 12 in the next two years. Ohio State's at number two at 931. Alabama's at number three, just two wins behind Ohio State at 929. Texas is just six wins behind Alabama at 923. Notre Dame, five wins behind Texas at 918. And Oklahoma at 917. Just needs, you know, Notre Dame catches an L against Cincinnati. You know, Florida State. Talking about Oklahoma going 3-0. Perhaps you tie and then later down the road, Oklahoma overtakes them for the number five spot as the fifth winningest program of all time. Nebraska's at number seven. My God, Nebraska, I really want you to be good. And you got to go down to 11 before you get to Georgia because eight is Penn State at 902, USC at nine at 852, 10 is Tennessee at 849, and then Georgia is 11 at 839. LSU's at 12 at 817, Auburn at 13 at 782, and then Clemson, shocker, is at 14 at 768. Okay. This also means that Oklahoma's giving season ticket holders some reason to, you know, re-up because the slate basically since 2016 
has not been that good for Oklahoma at home games, right? There have been games that we've wanted to see that just get called off for one reason or another. The Nebraska game that I'm looking forward to, that I know a lot of Oklahoma fans are looking forward to, does not have the national college football fan base looking at it because Nebraska ain't no good. But I think that this is also going to be an opportunity for Oklahoma to lay down a marker in years to come because you got Nebraska 21-22 and then again 29-30. Michigan 25 26, so that's back to back. LSU 27 28, that's back to back. Alabama 32 33. I will be 32 is 21. I'll be in my mid 40s when that game gets played. Good night. And then Clemson 25 36. I'll be, I'll be damn near 50, <laughs> which is stupid, right? I think I'll be like 48. What? I'm the same age Jesus was when y'all nailed him to the cross. That's where I'm at right now, in case you want to know. Joe Castiglione talked about the Georgia home and home will commence 23, but it will not conclude until 2031 in Athens. So you get the one game in 23, and then you'll get the return trip some nine years later in Athens. He said, it's an anomaly, but those happen from time to time. It is a little bit like a Rubik's Cube when you're doing scheduling. Just when you have something that might work, there's a conflict or some other conundrum, right? Again, 54 to 48 was a score in double overtime in the college football playoff in Pasadena. We know, and we've wanted it. Like, people call the R.J. Young Bowl Ohio State versus Oklahoma. Longtime watchers of this channel also know that that would be Oklahoma versus Georgia, right? Because, like, yo, man. I was, I was feeling some kind of way after that post game. Matter of fact, I think that video is still on the channel. You might go check that out. So OU has faced 37 of the top 40 all-time winningest programs. Their lone exceptions were Georgia Tech with 741 wins, Michigan State with 710, and Miami of Ohio with 700. So Riley was asked if there were any programs he would like to face. He said, honestly, some of the ones on our future schedules would have been some of the first ones to come out of my mouth and out of mine as well. Georgia, Michigan, LSU, you can get the smoke. All right, that's it for me. Deuces. Michigan, be good. Be good, Michigan. Get good. Let's make this a top 25 affair. Can't have it if you don't keep up your end, man. I want you to be good. It's like I want Texas to be good. Like I want Nebraska to be good. Deuces.